how I describe my upbringing was very Brit-ish. I'm unapologetically black. Brought up by my mum and my nan. And my nan's Jamaican, so very heavily influenced by that. It was very empowering, and we was always taught what it's like to be a strong black female, strong black person. Can't be found, can be replaced. My nan came over the Windrush generation, and then my mother was the first generation, so for her, something I've learned and understood, as a black woman growing up in England for that time, must have been really hard. How that influenced me as a child was, you know, at school, you got different attention. Obviously, I was then first generation of being mixed race. You know, being mixed race, what a lot of people don't talk about, you do go for a large period of your life with a bit of an identity crisis. Shy, felt like I'm not comfortable to speak. It's definitely made who I am now, and I definitely feel like I had to go for all those traumas so I can be the voice for those who can't speak out. Black History Month in this country has been going on for 33 years and it's only now it's starting to be highlighted. Our history cannot fit into a month. George Floyd died, so you could understand it because you could see it. But racism here is insidious. It's done very smartly. It's done in a way that you can easily ignore. But if you are black, you feel it because that's what you've gone through, that's what you lived. But also we need to understand that trauma and racism comes in all shapes and sizes. Racism is not getting that job, not having black people within your businesses. If you have any friends who are black, just chat to them and just say, can you teach me about your culture? Black History Month is also a celebration of what black British people have done for the country. A lot of history has been deleted and a lot of people know black people as slaves who come. So it's my duty to show that we have also come from kings and queens and we also can become even more. The ultimate goal is to stay true to myself, keep learning about my own culture and other cultures around me, get everyone else to understand. In one of my spoken word pieces, I say, we are more than slaves with unnamed graves.